Hi, we're continuing our Halloween theme by creating a spider spinner. And I've said before, don't worry, these are friendly spiders, but that one caught a fly. Ooh, join us. Hi, this is Tweek. In a recent episode, I made this little spider out of polymer clay and beads. And I said at the time I was going to feature him in a centerpiece for the holidays, but I came up with a different idea. I'm going to make him or turn him into a spider spinner. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. The supplies you'll need to make a spider spinner are plastic plates, some yarn, some hot glue, and some hooks. That's about it. A very simple project, some fun, and here we go. You take a plastic plate. This one has a little bit of design on it and it's perfect for my use. So what I'm going to do is burn holes into the side using my glue gun. Before I do that, I need to measure. So I take a Sharpie and I took a wooden dowel and I'm basically going to eyeball to make marks on the edge of the plate so I know where I'm going to put my spider web. So I'm going to measure and then I'm going to come across. I use two of them to give myself an idea of what looks even. I'm going to make a mark there and mark here. And now once I've got it in fourths, think of, think of pieces of pie. That's a good way of doing it. Then I'm going to come in and eyeball the two and I'm going to measure that halfway. So we've got the plate marked down with the Sharpie. Now I'm going to take my glue gun, and since this is plastic, I'm going to let the nozzle of the glue gun sit on the plastic and it will burn it. Not enough to either get too hot for you to touch or to make fumes, but I'm just going to very firmly rest the glue gun nozzle on the edge of the plate. I just would like that plastic to melt just enough to make the notch in the side of the plate. And I push the nozzle around just a little bit to round it out a bit. And I've got one more here, and then I will have my notches ready on the plate. Okay, now stand by with the glue gun because you're going to need it in a moment. Okay, next we take some yarn. You could use any color of yarn you'd like. I'm going for black, and I'm just going to pick one of these notches and I'm going to pull out a little bit of yarn, just leave a couple inches because that's where our hook is going to be to hang it up. And I'm just going to use my finger to hold in the notch tight. And we're going to come down to the notch directly opposite of it on the plate. And then we're going to come back underneath to the next notch. And again, follow that to its opposing notch, keeping it taut. See how we're getting our web. The next notch, opposing notch, next notch. So we get to the last notch, so got it taut, and I'm going to go, instead of, instead of the opposing, I'm going to go with the one that, where we started, that notch there. So I like that, I'm trying to keep it taut, and I'm going to bring this last up and follow it to the start. So I have those two pieces together. Okay, then I'm going to add some glue. Now the glue is hot, so give it a moment before you tap at it to make sure the fabric of the yarn is into that glue. So I want this to stick. So I've got that secured, the two pieces, and I'm going to make a snip right here. Okay, I'm going to hang out of that yarn because it will come in handy in a moment. And right here I'm going to loop and apply the glue. More hot glue right here. And be careful, it is hot and there's not a lot to protect you with this yarn. And I'm going to use the scissors again to help make it stay in. Okay, that's good. Lots of contact between the glue and the yarn. And no burning your fingers. That's good. So, now we've established, we've got our hook, we've got the start of our web, make sure that's gonna stay, yep. Now we start weaving the web. 
what I'm going to do is take a piece of yarn. I don't want to use the whole ball because it's too big. So I get grab a goodly piece of yarn that's not going to get too tangled up. Because as I go, I can use the glue to fuse the yarn together. And I'm just going to pick a spot. I'm going to come over here. And I'm just going to tie, not all the way up to the edge of the plate, but I'm just going to tie a little simple knot right on the fabric there, right on the yarn. And that's the start of our web. And what I'll do is I'll snip that off. And what I'm going to do here is go around. Let's which way do I want to go? Counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. So you're going to come over the line next to you and go under again with the yarn and pull it through. See? Go to the next line. Under, pull it through. And push it up. How many of these do you want to go around the circumference of your web? That's up to you. So I used the crochet hook because my fingers are too big to get into little strands in the web. And I've got this little piece of the yarn left and all I'm gonna do is attach it to the center with a little bit of glue. Crochet hook came in very handy. And I'm going to just put a little bit of glue. And the spider's gonna sit in the center anyways so you won't see this. I'm gonna use the crochet hook again to attach. That way I don't get burned. <laughs> and let that sit there. So the next thing we're gonna do is see how does our spider sit in this spot. I like the tension there. Here's the hook I can show you now. See, and then he's gonna sit in the center. I'm going to use some wire to hook the main part of his body in the center so that he stays put. So I'm just checking out ways I can hook his feet into there. His legs are bendable. If you remember when I made him, that's wire in there, so that's good. And I'm gonna test him a little bit to see how he's gonna sit. Ooh, that's good. So just the tension of the yarn is gonna hold his legs in place, but to ensure that he stays there, I'm gonna use a piece of wire and go around his body, and I'm going to pick a leg, I think over on this side, and I'm going to come up next to one of his legs and just start twisting to hold him tight. And if I have to, I could get more wire, but I found that one piece of wire worked just fine. Make sure it stays tight. And I think that's gonna hold him, let's see. So I've got my spinner halfway done because what I did was I made another one. And so the second one has a different color spider and he's gonna hang and I'm gonna put the two together so when they spin, you'll see both spiders. But before I put them together, I'm going to add some bugs. And that means taking a little bit of pipe cleaner. I just had it kicking around here. And I'm just gonna cut random pieces. Let's see, a couple inches long. I don't want it too long, maybe an inch or so long. And I'm gonna form wings, just flip this in on itself and give it a couple twists. And I'm gonna make some makeshift bugs that got stuck in these webs. Nice touch and then a little bit of glue in the center and let that dry a bit before you try to attach it to the web. Uh oh, he sees a bug has landed. I'm just gonna let the glue sit there and dry. Do you want another one? Maybe there should be just one bug. Twist up the pipe cleaner, add some glue on each side. One side acts like the glue, one side acts like the bug body. And I'll put one over here. So that's just my version of a makeshift bug. Got a bug each, that's good. Now I'm going to attach them together and I'm just gonna use some glue. Hot glue around the edge. 
I'm going to line up the two plates by way of their holder and then I'm going to glue them together. Keep up with me, glue gun. Okay, here we go. Line up the two holders. You have a little bit of wiggle room while it sets. through the web and use my fingers to press the two plates together. Okay, they're attached. They're not going to come apart. I've got two loops here, but I want this to spin. So I'm going to add a spinner hook, a lobster claw spinner hook, and hook these two together. And this will go over my dining room table for Halloween. And it's really cool when you see the light go through it. So what do you think? <laughs> spiders, spinning spiders. And there you have it, a spider spinner of your very own, ready to spook up your Halloween. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. We like spiders. See you again.